recession, recession, recession. Well, the CPI was uh, reported this morning. <clears throat> uh, it was in line with expectations. It actually dropped um, from prior month, 0.1%, uh, up 6.4, 6.5 from uh, last year. Um, so it's, in, it's in, still improving on that trajectory of, uh, of shrinking, which is what the Fed wants. Um, however, it's still high, you know, 6.5% uh, prices higher than they were last year. Um, as I mentioned in uh, my weekly update uh, video of, uh, back in the 70s, uh, President Ford came up with that win campaign. I actually looked back at kind of their percentages. So he got in office in 74, and uh, they were in the 10% year-over-year uh, CPI increases. And actually, his win campaign had a little effect. It got down into the 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, even got into the 5% ranges, um, but that's the only effect. And then when we got into late 77, 78, and then to the 80s, it got 13, 14 um, percent uh, price increases. Could you imagine? Um, but then the Fed came in and started doing their work, and it only took a year, it looks like. <clears throat> so in uh, October of 81, it was at 10 percent. And by October of 82, it was 5%. So they cut it in half. And then in the next October of 83, they got it under 3, 2.75. And then that's where it's kind of bounced around, 1%, 2%, 3%. Um, actually pretty steady all around there the whole time. They were in control. Um, actually, even, even up through the 2008 crash, um, it was in 2% leading up to that, got up to 4% right before, and then uh, started going negative in December of 08. Um, and it was negative 1% until uh, beginning of 2010. Um, and it started flipping back around. So they've been in control pretty well until this, this move here with the combination of you know COVID. Um, we were in the 1% to 2% uh, annual increases. And then when COVID hit, uh, March, April, 2020, it was under 1% increase. It never went negative. Uh, prices never dropped, surprisingly. Um, then once uh, April of 2021 hit, that's when it really started climbing. 4%, 5%, 6%, 7%, 8%, and the highest 9% this past June, uh, when we all saw the market, uh, real estate market just collapse. And it collapsed a little strong, but uh, totally turned around. A big about face. So hopefully we're heading back in the right direction. Fed's been doing what they've been doing. It's working. We have the uh, producer price index uh, report coming up uh, in a couple of weeks, and then the Fed meets uh, the first of February. Um, see if if they continue to raise rates. Uh, going uh, consensus is a quarter point, um, which will be definitely a big move, um, as they've been doing three quarters, and the last one was a half. So if they're pulling it back to just a quarter, some suspect they may still do a half. Um, but we'll see. But uh, they're trying to do their best. <laughs> um, so anyway, any questions on that? Let me know. Bye.